Hello, right today I want to be capacity testing these cells that I purchased from uh, AliExpress. As always, I'll leave a link down below to any of the parts that I'm using to undertake this test. Now, my previous video uh, to this one, um, it was a buying review from AliExpress. Now, these took uh, just slightly over three days uh, to get delivered, and I paid £117 for four sales, and they claimed to be 100 watt hours. Um, I also paid £62 uh, for delivery, which makes these exceptionally good value for money. They possibly could be secondhand, which I'd imagine they are just rewrapped, dressed up to make it look pretty again. But if we can get anywhere near 100 amp hours, I think that's excellent value for money. Um, I have bought some previous batteries in the past from AliExpress. Now these ones here from, Ver from Vericon, and I got excellent results from them. And these ones I paid £141 for these cells. And in fact, I thought they were so good, I'm actually powering uh, the solar shed with them at the moment as we speak, and they've been installed for quite some time. And they're actually uh, in use on the previous video of building that uh, mini power wall. That I did. Now to undertake this uh, experiment and test, um, I'm going to be using one of these ba uh, battery capacity testers and it's just simply um, a heating element uh, on a printed circuit board with what looks like a, um, a CPU cooler fan uh, mounted on top and it just basically uh, monitors how much current um, is being burnt off um, and it displays it as um, watt hours and amps, etc. Um, I have brought the uh, room temperature up. I've turned all the radiators off in the house. I'm in the UK, so I've currently got the heating on. And I've brought the um, boiler thermostat into this room. And being English and winter time, it's flipping on air for me at the moment. Uh, I'm used to like 15 degrees house temperature. Well, 16 degrees. Right, let's get this thing uh, experiment up and running. So I'm super excited to see... Uh, what we get out of these cells. As I won't be able to sit here all, all, all day for the next potentially 10 hours to uh, keep an eye on such things, um, I'm gonna be using um, an app because um, this uh, BMS that I'm using um, is uh, Bluetooth enabled. So this allows me to do is have a look at the app and um, see what our voltages are doing. And we can see here how many um, amps that are leaving um, the battery pack. As we can see here at the moment, it's 9.2 uh, amps and um, it's reading the same on our battery um, capacity checker as well so everything uh, looks good right what I'll do is I'll keep reporting back and forth uh, for quick updates as to how we're getting on until uh, the BMS cuts the power as to when one of these cells uh, hits at 2.5 volts right this is my first update um, we've been going for quite a few hours now uh, we've currently driven out uh, 54 uh, amp hours and I'm just dialing into the app as well um, to the Bluetooth for the, uh, the BMS and it's currently showing I've got 46% um, left of uh, the capacity um, and we're currently drawing out just 9 amps which is pretty much the same what uh, my battery capacity tested, testing is saying here as well. Um, so what I'll do uh, for my next update um, I'll wait till these cells are completely depleted and then we'll give, I'll give my final verdict um, of, what, of, of, of what ampage they are. I think uh, I'm super uh, excited to see. Uh, can we really get 100 amp hours out of um, these cheap uh, AliExpress cells? But uh, right, I'll report back and then we'll see what we get. Right, it's now the following morning. Um, I went to bed last night leaving this on. Um, I think it was going to finish too late. Right, I you scored a 95 amp hour uh, capacity um, out of these um, batteries. Um, that's uh, five less um, than advertised. Um, but even still, um, remember I did pay £117 for these batteries with uh, £62 postage. So you can't really grumble. Um, what I will be doing is looking after these batteries. So I'll be storing them at 60% uh, uh, state of charge. Now that's quite easy to uh, manage because on there, this uh, BMS is, uh, it's got a Bluetooth uh, enabled. Um, so I can see on the, uh, on the app here, um, the state of charge. So I can store that at uh, 60%. But what I'll also be doing is won't be charging these cells to 100% capacity. I'll be storing them at 80% um, uh, capacity. Um, 
sorry, charge them up to 80% capacity. Um, and again, I can see that uh, through the graph. But I can set the also the, uh, the parameters um, on the BMS. So I can set this to 13.4 volts. So once these packs hit 13.4 volts, it will cut the power um, rather than charge them up to 100% capacity because that can um, damage the cells um, uh, even more. So I said, if these are secondhand cells, you just got to be trying to look after them. It's almost like they've gone into retirement. Um, I'm going to be using these um, in another project coming up, um, building a, a mobile e-bike charger. Um, so I think these cells will be good for small projects um, such as that, things like that. Um, if you're putting these into the marine industry, heavily cycling them, then these may be not be the batteries for you. I mean, at still at £117, they're probably still pretty good, but... I mean, you're more than welcome to. I mean, that price, you can't grumble, can you? Well, um, if you like this video, uh, please give us a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching.